Welcome back to Frostpunk Endless Mode. So we are uh, currently doing our very best at uh, expanding the city, building fighting pits and uh, getting enough wood. Also, we aren't researching anything at the moment. Probably because we don't have enough wood. <laughs> uh, let's do the uh, sawmill upgrade for, since that actually is useful for a change. Fighting arena has been built, has been established in accordance with a new law. Hope rises. Bizarre. That also helps us with uh, the discontent. And we can build another fighting arena here. I think that should cover all of our tents. I wish we could get more people soon, because we don't have enough. Work time. Get moving. Um... <laughs> Our hunters have returned. Less than a day. Yeah, we definitely need more people. Because we need more hunters. I think we will research... Um, hot house because of that. Because I can't get in enough food otherwise. Food currently is kind of critical, since we have so little of it. And after that we should get the generator level 2, since it's going... Nah, I'm not sure it's necessary, actually. The buildings will go down to Chile, the tents that is, but... Oh well, oh, let's get it anyways. We have enough coal, so... Steel re Oh. Scouts have reached the buried hamlet. It's just a few shabby huts with snowbanks rising up to their roofs. Incredibly, people live here. Survivors. Yes, thank you. Doomed settlement. There are mostly children here. They are hungry and have insufficient clothing. They will not survive in such conditions. Mostly children. 24 adults and 12 children. That's not mostly children, but okay. Let's escort them back to the city. Did I get the extra scout? Hot house has been researched. Didn't get the more s the extra scout. Let's go with the generator power upgrade then. And we need to build hot houses. Let's build a couple of them out here. Yes, I'm quite aware that we've used our first steam core and that we have a limited amount of them. Probably remove that road bit there. Okay, so we have... 32... 36 people coming to the city. That means we need... Uh, four more tents. Um... Let's build a steam hub there. And a fighting arena there. And then one, two. Three and four. And we need to build a road like that.
Actually, never mind. I'm not thinking here. That is definitely not what we want to do. We want, however, to build a road like that. So we have that line of uh, three tiles. Then we can build a steam hub there. The tent there. The fighting arena here. And two more tents there. That's better. We have plenty of wood at the moment, so we can probably afford to build this road as well. Generator power upgrade have been researched. Very good. Now let's get more scouts. 15 hours until these people return. We need workers in these hot houses, but uh, that can wait for now. a day. We can pass a new law. Um, I'm actually tempted to pick child labor. But for this map, I assume that there are so many nodes that give us re um, workers that I don't think I want to. I really want to avoid that. Let's go with um, Order, the Neighborhood Watch. So this one gives us a new building, the Watchtower which increases the hope of people living nearby, but we will also have to build two watchtowers. Let's sign that law. Now, this is the annoying bit, because we have to make sure that everything is covered by these watchtowers. I can remove that tent. Which I shall. And that will cover the buildings here. This one will not cover the buildings here. That'll be fine. Okay, so there's one building that will not be covered if I build it there. These get to be upgraded with guard stations, which is an upgrade to the guard tower, or the watchtower. The uh, annoying bit, though, is that... Well, it isn't annoying. Uh, the thing, the difference between the order buildings, like the temple and the... Um, 
the House of Faith, I think it's called, uh, is that these need to be manned. So you need to put workers in these. Okay, le let's just build the, uh, the watchtower here. And uh, when we upgrade, it should be covered. Okay, now these hunters, we want to put five of them in here. And I need more people. Ten more. These one also need to be set to extended shift. sick absences that's not too bad yeah you see I have to man these build a final one there we'll man them when these guys come back should also probably start considering uh because this is the steel we have, period. I mean, we can gather some steel from this wreckage, but... That is a lot of people. not ideal. I don't think we need it at steam level 2. More scouts have been researched. Let's go with the generator range upgrade. Now I need five more people, but... If I remove five people from this one... Ah, oh, let's just do that now because I really want to send off another unit of scouts immediately. We can go in a little bit of deficit of the coal currently. These will be uh, back in uh, three and a half hours, so... Survive the first storm. That is in ten days. I wonder what the temperature is going to be at then. They have returned. Excellent. Let's just send them straight out again. This time to the stone ship. Uh, pause a bit. Let's put engineers in there and there. As you promised, you built and manned watchtowers to maintain order in the city. Hope rises. And now let us, let us put five workers in here and four workers in there. And the final five in there. Which means that everyone should be... No, we have that house, of course, but... What I can do, of course, is move that tent out here. And also, we have one homeless person, so I need to build two of them out there. Generator range upgrade has been researched. Let's move on to the drafting machines then. And that should help with these tents not being chilly. Excellent. I don't think we researched heaters yet, so...
things aren't looking that bad. About two days of coal with the generator being on range two. That is very good. I don't want to tear it down before these are finished, because I don't want homeless in the night. That's not ideal. The watchtowers guard- or the watchtowers are guarding their neighborhoods with the spotlights. Now let's tear this one down. Now everyone should be living near a watchtower or a guard station and a fighting arena. Excellent. Now, since we have people out there working, let's build a road out on each side here and also build a medical post. Then we can also build a road here. It's just preliminary, preliminary planning on my end. Can we put people in here? No, we don't have anyone free. It's getting warmer again, so I believe we can safely put this back down to range one. machines completed um, Let's get the steam steel works so that we can start building that right away when uh, we build steam steel uh, uh, steel works. Move these guys out there. These guys are working diligently. As a fa matter of fact, they're working so diligently that we should consider building some resource depots for this. Problem with the resource depots, though, is that they require a lot of steel, which we don't have. Timely intervention from the neighborhood watch. Sir, a climbed. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to. Could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchman, a neighbor commented. We are lucky to have them. I'm glad it ended well. 
Yeah, we need to get a steel mine up. Wood crates have been depleted, so now we're only gathering coal in these two posts. Steam steel works complete. Um. Can do that one. But this one is better. It only uses wood. Okay, now let's build steel. Steam work. Steam steel works. Out here. Uh, one question is. Does that go on the same line? Yes, it does. So let's build a road over there. And I don't need to build two of them just yet. We wouldn't have the workers for it anyway, so... I think we can take the workers out of this building. Move them over to the... Uh steel mine. Scouts have reached the stone ship, a distinct spot in Frostland that we can use as a waypoint for further exploration. Sites discovered abandoned sawmill. Let's move out there then. We can pass a law. Um, could go with a cemetery. Or we can go with radical treatment. It's probably a bit early. Let's go with the public house. Where can we build that? It's probably a good idea to build it out here. Should be covered by this steam hub as soon as we get the uh, the range upgrade. So, scouts have reached the rocky promontory. We found traces of human presence in the twisty passages between the boulders. They don't seem recent. Inadequate shelter. We found several frozen bodies in sleeping bags around the remains of a fire. These people had plenty of fuel and food, but the cold got them anyway. 98 wood and 59 raw food. Let's take those and move on, on to the radio station then. A Christmas carol. The spirit of Christmas past. An old man visits you. Sir, you'd be forgiven if you forgot because of the evacuation and the storm, but I didn't. It's the end of December, and in the old days it meant that Christmas is near, he says. The dark years were so hard on us that for many young people Christmas became a historical oddity. To preserve the tradition, we could celebrate it with a common meal and presents, but the most important thing is giving people hope that this year will be different. Um, doesn't tell me what I need. But... Meals is not a good idea. I need to think about it. And I will actually look up what that requires so that I don't do a big mistake here. Let's see. Let's 
so we can ignore the meal. Oh, we'll try it. Don't have anyone to uh, spare for that. Well, I guess we could take one person from this watchtower. A public house has been erected in accordance with a new law. People are anxious to let off steam in the new house of respite. Oh, prizes. This building we probably need to put in over uh, emergency shift, to be honest. Boom. Two hundred ninety-eight left. Three hundred and seventy-six. Eighty-six left there. Coal deposit is out there. This one should be prioritized. There are coal deposits out here as well, but um, hmm. Now we're getting steel, so we can research things in a bit more um, So a hothouse provides 30 per day. So does a, f a hunter hangar. But that one can supply up to 45, I believe. No idea how much the hothouses can supply. Let's go with the hunting tactics first and then move on to the flying hunters. Actually, I might have to pass child labor whether I want to or not because we don't have enough people. One of our people died. Death of overwork. We must make sacrifices to survive, but... Okay, let's take another guard from here and put that guy in there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't... We can't pass the law yet. So we'll have to go with the graveyard next then. Pile depleted. Hunting tactics researched. Scouts and oh, everything happens at once now. Um, which coal pile? That one. Good. We can pass a law. We will go right ahead and pass the law of cemetery. We will establish a burial ground so we can lay our dead to rest with dignity and respect. Which gives us the cemetery, which increases the hope slightly, and then we have no risk of disease from unburied bodies, which is a good thing. Let's move on to the technology and research the flying hunters, and then we have to build a cemetery. I'm curious.
If I remove that road... We can fit two more of them. Okay, so we will not build a cemetery there then. However, I don't see why we can't have a cemetery in the middle of the city, so let's just build it there. Doesn't really matter if it's warm or not, unlike the, um... The, um... Cold pit. Let's build a road like that, and like that. Probably we'll also build a road like that. And we can complete the circle there. Also, we can complete the circle here because we have plenty of wood at the moment. Scouts have reached the radio station. Oh, I forgot about the scouts as well. Uh, this radio station was abandoned relatively recently. Maybe there's something useful in the shack. Still standing. The mast is old. It is so rusty that it's a wonder it didn't collapse. Taking it apart will be difficult, but should yield some usable steel. 49 coal and 52 steel and we have discovered the lone boulder let's go there and then we have the abandoned sawmill indeed it is a sawmill it hasn't been used in a very long time everything is covered in ice not much left there was probably an outpost here years ago now there's nothing left of it but this frozen sawmill sites discovered frozen pond 115 wood Let's go back to the city. Not that we need the wood, but... So we got the flying hunters now, good. And then I want... Eaters. The cemetery has been established, and now we can put our dead to rest. Hope rises. The spirit of Christmas passed. The old man visits you again. Sir, have you made up your mind about Christmas? We have just a few days left, he says. To preserve the tradition, we could celebrate Christmas with a common meal and presents, but the most important thing is giving people hope that this year will be different. We will celebrate Christmas. Oh. We actually have what we need. We should be fine for that, actually. The hope needs to be above that mark, and we need to have 140 food rations, so... Ah, yeah, let's build a few resource depots now. Still be able to build the uh, steelworks, good, yes.
Now why did this content rise? The Huntress is now down to using 10 people instead of 15, which is good. And since it's a new day, I think that this is a very good spot to uh, end the episode. So thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope that you're enjoying the uh, series so far. And I will see you all next time.